Hello everyone. Back in the day I had a friend who really liked to make fire striker kits and I remember he made a kit for me and I really enjoyed using that to light my coal forge uh, even just for fun. So I was thinking it'd be nice if I could uh, make a fire striker set for myself and you know one that maybe can you can take in your pocket take in the field with you and uh, so I was just planning to you know show that and then you know take a piece of high carbon steel and you know bend it into a traditional U shape to use as the striker but uh, you know I looked and I looked but I couldn't find a piece of flint or other suitable stone you know I went by the river and and by the hills and you know I picked up a bunch of pieces these are just a few but you know none of them will uh, will throw a spark so yeah so I was about to give up and you know then I was lighting my gas forge with a, a lighter and you know I was thinking to myself well there has to be a flint or something similar inside this and so I did a little research and a uh, just a simple disposable butane lighter has a little tiny flint in it and then this wheel <clears throat> that spins uh, this is a synthetic alloy called ferrocerium and so that functions as the steel <clears throat> so uh, basically I was thinking uh, maybe you know this one here is empty this lighter so if let's say you're in the field and you had a lighter but it has no fuel you know well you might still be able to make a fire if you can catch a spark you know from a lighter like this on a piece of char cloth so uh, you know this cloth here is not obviously not charred yet I've got uh, pieces of old cotton t-shirt and I think these pieces are uh, uh, cotton gauze or something similar so um, you know I was planning to char those and then see if I can catch a spark from this empty empty lighter and I think that might prove to be a little bit difficult though because the way the sparks they don't seem to eject similarly like in a traditional fire striker set so um, what I was thinking is to take this apart and see exactly how big that flint is and if I could somehow manipulate that uh, to uh, get a spark catch that in the char cloth and <clears throat> ignite a fire so I've got into this piece of high carbon steel which is is hardened and I think I'll just leave it as is for this experiment and as far as tinder I've just got uh, some tissue paper here and uh, you know just some wood shavings so that should suffice so what I'll do is uh, I'll use this little Altoids tin. Uh, my friend used to use a similar tin, but the larger size one. And uh, so I thought this would be really cool because it'd be very pocket sized. And so basically, you know, just fill that up with the uh, cotton cloth and close it up. And then I'll put it in my forge just for a few seconds to heat it up and take it out and then let it cool and see how that's progressed. Uh, I think maybe you're supposed to drill a hole in this, but. Uh, I remember the box he gave me didn't have a hole so I think I'll just forego that so and yeah so anyway let's uh you know for the for this right now let me just take this apart and see if I can see exactly what that what that uh, flint looks like so I'm gonna be pretty careful here I let's see okay I, I'm actually seeing something I know there's a spring in there so I just don't want it to Oh, that, there it is. I see it. I see it. Fear not. It's tiny. <laughs> okay, it's tiny. So it's, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if you could see that in my hand, but there's a magnifying glass. So, you know, according to a diagram that I looked at online, that's the flint. So yeah, I'll try it and we'll see, you know, but yeah, there's just no way for me to, I don't think I'll be able to hold on to that and get a spark, but yeah, let me let me scratch my head a bit. Uh, let's work on the uh, char cloth, and we'll see what we can do.
Okay, so you can see I've got my char cloth here. Uh, very charred, charred cloth. You know, you probably should just put it over a campfire or something similar. And also I, I had the tin open a little bit. I didn't realize when I first got it in there. But I think this piece here especially will work just fine. So we've got that. And then what I did was is uh, I secured the, uh, the little piece of flint in this wood. I just used this little hand drill and drilled a, a tiny hole so that it would insert but not too far in so that gives me a little bit of leverage. So and I, I can tr I can get a spark on this steel now but it's not you know it's kind of hit or miss so see if you can see that. See you see get a little bit of a spark there. So you know I, I, I don't think this is going to be very easy to do to catch that spark because I can't I'm not even sure where this char cloth will be, you know, so I've got to kind of figure that out. But yeah, I'll give it a go and we'll see. Uh, hopefully we can get fire. So I, I just can't get a consistent spark to come off of this piece of steel I have here. And I actually, I re-hardened it just to make sure it was hard enough. And it's plenty hard and I do get the occasional spark. But from my experience, I know that, you know, this would just be uh, really tough to uh, catch a spark in the char cloth given the infrequency of the sparks. So uh, rather than give up, I kind of scratched my head and I noticed that the ferro wheel, uh, you know, the flint wheel has little serrations across it. So that creates some friction and probably helps to get a little piece to come off as a hot spark. So what I did was is, you know, I cut some grooves in this piece, just some very shallow grooves, but still doesn't work very well. So I thought a little bit more and then I just, uh, you know, I just grabbed an old file, you know, that the texture feels something like how that would feel. And, you know, lo and behold, I can get at least more consistent sparks to come off of this. So I, I'm pretty sure you can see that. So I'm going to, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give this a go using my, uh, you know, this old file and my uh, homemade uh, a butane lighter a little baby flint piece here embedded in a piece of wood I switched the cloth to the other side and it caught a spark but of course the camera was off had it like this and it went like that and it caught had it on that side just like that and it caught that so let's see oh it went out <laughs> okay well I talked too much the cloth catches a spark here right at the end but it quickly goes out I decide to make better char cloth no need to punch any holes in this tin. The smoke is coming out of the back end near the hinges. This obviously takes patience and practice. I catch a usable spark here, but it's barely visible from this angle. I get it nestled in and blow on it a few times and it starts to go.
catch you guys next time.